right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. When he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is gonna look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimago Meda! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Well, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and dating to 2016, one of the UFC's best at that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you go up as a fighter, Especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity. The greatest. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Off the top, he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Single collar tie now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Left hand punches the clinch. Oh, nice right hand, John. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Let's go, He's having his way with him here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Fighters back to their feet here. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Nermago Meta. Another shot lands upstairs. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that's a nice fight. Just over three minutes to go. One of the most important strikes from the clinch is this big body shot. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. It's the elbow there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right on the button. Battling for hooks. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there. Unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent. His ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Nice punch lands over the top. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. 
Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Massive needed by land. Now going upstairs with the left hook. And again, shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuff. Oh, collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Nurmagomedov gets lit up by that straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Now connects with a right. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Watch knees to the body. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Good jab. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll work out. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw with that with the right time. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's show you some of the highlights from the previous round. DC, elbow striking 101. Elbow striking 101. Every time his opponent got close, he knew that was going to be the game plan. His opponent was going to pressure, so he was trying to smother him. But instead of just grabbing and holding, he used those elbows to really damage his opponent and put himself ahead in this fight. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, Sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. And attacking on bar. You 
got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Done absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. it done by submission tonight champ he was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it eventually his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission he did that and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission, he got his hand raised in the way that he 